Once upon a time in a dense forest, there lived a big, brown bear named Benny. He was a jolly bear who loved to eat honey. But, he always found it hard to get his paws on some delicious honey. Benny would often spend his days walking around the forest looking for beehives, but all his efforts would go in vain. One day, while Benny was walking around, he heard a buzz from a nearby tree. As he approached, he saw a beehive hanging from a branch. He could smell the sweet aroma of honey coming from the hive, which made him drool with excitement. But, Benny knew that getting the honey from the beehive was not an easy task. He could not climb the tree, and even if he could, he would end up getting stung by the bees guarding the hive. Benny sat down and thought about what he could do to get his paws on the honey. Suddenly, he remembered a story he had heard from his grandfather about a honey bee named Bella who was kind and would share her honey with anyone who needed it. Benny decided to go and find Bella. As Benny walked through the forest, he saw a swarm of bees flying towards him. But, to his surprise, they did not attack him. Instead, one of the bees flew up to him and asked, What brings you here, Benny? Benny was surprised that the bee knew his name. The bee introduced herself as Bella, the honey bee he had heard about from his grandfather. Benny explained his problem to Bella, and she sympathized with him. Bella told Benny that she could help him get the honey, but he had to promise not to harm the hive or hurt any of the bees. Benny eagerly agreed, and Bella took him to the beehive. As they approached the beehive, Bella flew up to the hive and started talking to the bees guarding the entrance. Benny could not understand what they were saying, but after a few minutes, the bees opened the hive, and Bella flew in. Benny was amazed by Bella's courage and wondered how she managed to talk to the bees. After a few minutes, Bella flew back with a small jar of honey in her tiny paws. She gave the jar to Benny, who was overjoyed. He thanked Bella and asked her how he could repay her kindness. Bella told Benny that she did not want anything in return, but she wanted him to promise never to harm the bees or their home. Benny promised Bella that he would never harm any bee or their hive and thanked her for her kindness. As Benny walked away, he realized that not all bears were scary and not all bees were mean. He learned that kindness and understanding could help even the most unlikely of friendships to flourish. From that day on, Benny would often visit Bella and her bee friends. They would share honey and tell each other stories about their adventures in the forest. Benny was no longer afraid of bees, and the bees were no longer afraid of him. The other animals in the forest were surprised to see Benny and the bees together. They could not believe that a bear and bees could be friends. But, Benny and Bella did not care what others thought. They knew that their friendship was special, and that was all that mattered. As time passed, Benny became known as the bear who was friends with bees. He would often tell other animals in the forest about Bella and her bee friends, and how they had helped him get the honey he loved so much. Benny had learned a valuable lesson about the importance of friendship, and he knew that he had made a friend for life in Bella and her bees.